forgive my profanity, but 3D experience is a big pile of... And this big pile of doo-doo has led to the empoopification of SolidWorks. A couple months ago, I made a bunch of videos where I expressed my disdain for 3D experience and how it has negatively impacted SolidWorks. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Back on November 27th, I received an email that SolidWorks needed to be updated. SolidWorks and the 3D Experience platform. I'm filming this in December of 2025. They need to upgrade to R 2026 and that I was going to get a hot fix. It was like version 0.11 and it had to be installed by December 6th. In that time period, I did use SolidWorks a few times. There would be a pop-up that would ask you, do you want to install the hotfix? And I said no, because I've installed hotfixes before. I know what a pain in the butt that they, that they are. So I waited until today. It is like December 12th or 13th in 2025. I waited for the weekend to give myself some time to do the update. And it went terribly. If you go to the SolidWorks sub on Reddit, you will see a number of people complaining about not being able to perform the update. I am one of those people, but it was a widespread problem. You would get the launcher and it would not launch. It would give some errors about not being able to install the update. And because it could not install, you were effectively shut out of SolidWorks. Well, there was a post linking to another post linking to the SolidWorks for Maker support form where they had explanations of what people needed to do if they encountered these problems. It was related to the web browsers that people have on their computers most notably Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, two very popular browsers. You had to go into the settings and allow the 3D Experience website local network access. For a lot of people, myself included, this was a security threat, but it was necessary if you wanted the launcher to work. This is just SolidWorks on a local computer, but in order to do a mandatory upgrade, we have to give 3D Experience local network access to our computers. That just stinks. And so I ended up doing it because I really wanted to use SolidWorks. The launcher still would not work, but at least it did allow me to download the installer locally, and then I was able to run that. And it took forever to download because essentially it is a fresh install of SolidWorks. It deletes SolidWorks 2025 and installs SolidWorks 2026. I'm not going to blame Dassault for the slow download speeds I don't know. It could be where I am living now. I've never downloaded this much from here in Valencia, Spain, but it took forever and I finally got through the installation and then I tried to double click on the desktop icon so I can launch SolidWorks Connected. I kept on getting errors that it could not authenticate my license. And so I had to go to the 3D Experience website. If you've ever been there, good luck trying to find the login page. It is not like a friendly URL like 3D Experience slash login or something like that. You really have to 
dig around to it and the URL itself is just a big mess. And so you find it and you log in there and then you have to navigate through all the mess on the left hand side to find the SolidWorks connected app in a list of over 80 apps. I mean, it's alphabetical. It's not that hard to find, but again, it's in the middle. It's near the end of 80 some apps and then launch SolidWorks from there. This is just an unnecessary pain in the neck for people who want to use a local install of SolidWorks on their computer. So there it is. That's my whole rant. I really hope I never have to make another video complaining about how 3D experience has led to the empupification of SolidWorks.